Hey, good morning everybody. We're here at 5366 Thomas Drive, Waynesville, Ohio. Getting ready to put another fantastic house on the market. They don't get much newer than this. Uh, this was a custom built 2015 home. 4,000 square foot ranch with a full finished walkout basement. House offers four beds, four baths, three of those being full. And we also have a half bath here. Three car garage and sits on 2.46 acres. I uh, definitely know the builder on this house and this one was definitely well constructed. A lot of extra stuff here at the house. Um, we've got of course a full brick wrap with colored mortar. We've got also architectural stone on the house, but one of the processes in building this house was a four inch block backup wherever the cultured stone is. And that is basically for water management and longevity of the product. Pretty big deal, uh, added quite a bit of expense, but definitely will pay dividends in the future. Just really a beautiful home. Let's go inside and take a look. Stepping in the front door here at 5366 Thomas Drive in Wingsville, Ohio. Got a nice size entryway here with a closet to the left as we come in. This is one of my favorite floor plans from this builder. We've got just kind of an open concept one. Huge living room here with lots of natural light. Over there's the kitchen. And what I like about this, down to the right of the house, if you're facing it, we've got two of our three bedrooms on this level. And to our left, without getting everybody dizzy, we're gonna end up touring the master. Let's go take a look at the kitchen, and then we'll head down to the right-hand side of the house if you're facing it. Off the dining room here, we've got a nice study. Again, plenty of natural light, nice breeze coming through today. Might as well catch the laundry room here on the right. And this would all be on the right side of the house. We're facing it towards the front. So dedicated, great size laundry room. Swing back into the kitchen here. Got our built-in wine fridge. Lots and lots of cabinet space. Granite countertops, as would be expected. Beautiful cabinets, gas stove. Lots and lots of room to work here. And that kind of flows back in, working towards the back of the house now, to an eat-in dining area. And then we've also got the back covered porch, which we'll step out onto here in a little bit. But like I say, just oodles of counter space here. And absolutely gorgeous. So a shot back into the living room where we came in. And again, now we're gonna head down facing the house, working the right hand side. Lots of closets here. Every bedroom has a walk-in closet. That's a door to our three car garage. More closet space. So as we come down to the end of the hall, again, right hand side of the house towards the front, bedroom number one with its own walk-in closet. Flows into this Jack and Jill full bath with two vanities. Restroom here in the back and shower, full bath. Flows right into bedroom number two. Also with its own walk-in closet. And then we're back out to the hallway, heading back down towards the living room. Again, garages on our left there as we come in. So once again, living room, out the triple windows is our covered patio we'll visit in a second. Do have a Quadra fire vent burning fireplace here, which is capable of heating the entire first floor. Some of the extras the owner did here as he was building, we've been looking at Anderson 400 series windows in the whole house. The exterior walls do have full cavity insulation. R50 in the attic. And there is a 300 amp electric service here for future upgrades like a barn, shed, or a pool that you might want to add out back because Lord knows we've got enough room for that. So left hand side of the house facing it. Got a half bath here. Sorry about my shadow. And then into the master. Really, really a nice size master bedroom. Lots of space, 
lots of light, which flows into one heck of a <laughs> master ensuite. So, vanity one, vanity two, absolutely gorgeous, full tile shower. Closet one on the left here. Commode on the right. And then uh, one of the larger walk-in closets I've seen in a master in a while with its own dedicated light source called a window. Spin back around here without getting everybody dizzy. So heading back out into the master. Go ahead and slide around here and I'll meet you out on the patio before we head downstairs. Okay, just step out on the deck here at 5366 Thomas Drive. We do have a covered front porch here. This is the back covered deck. Ceiling fan. And this is kind of what I wanted everybody to see, which is really one of the biggest points of this house would be just the elbow room we have here. 2.46 acres. Loads and loads of room to do whatever you want. And just a lot of peace and quiet. As you can see, the tree line as I pan, don't let that fool you. That is not the extent of the property. It actually goes on the other side of the trees, on both sides, and back a little bit farther. The trees make it kind of deceiving, but there is more land here than you think. Let's go down the basement and take a look. And just like magic, here we are in the basement at 5366 Thomas Drive. An abundance of room down here, absolute abundance. These are the steps we came down that come out of the kitchen. We've got uh, over wide steps here, make it easy to get things in and out if you decide to come that way. We've also got a walk out door. I'm going to spin us back around here. If we're facing the house, we're working the right hand side. I've got three storage rooms down here with lots and lots of room. That's one storage room on the right. Here's my full bath for the basement. And this would be the right hand side of the house facing it, lower level towards the back of the home. This is bedroom number four. Really big bedroom down here too. So let's get back to one of my favorite parts is this basement. Lots and lots of room. Bar is absolutely incredible, or the bar area. Brick walls, colored mortar. Total wet bar, just a really great space. There is a small closet here to the right, or room if you would, that you could actually as rough plumb for an extra sink if you needed one, but guess what? We've already got one there and it's already been thought of. The door here to my left would be where you'd find your mechanicals. And the door down to the right is a big, big storage room down there too. So heading down, Facing the house, left hand side, another huge room here, pool table, more TVs, that's what I like, or whatever you like, and of course, our walk out door that goes back under the deck from where we were, sorry about the blinds, they're inside the windows. And once again, you can just see with me walking how large this basement is. I'll see you back upstairs. So once again, 5366 Thomas Drive, Waynesville, Ohio. 4,000 square foot ranch with full walkout basement, four beds, four baths, three car garage, sits on 2.46 acres. 2015 construction, you don't get a whole lot newer than this. And if you check the new building costs lately, you'll see this one's gonna be very difficult to replace. Thanks for taking the time to walk the house with me. Hope you have a great day. I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks a lot.